Hi, welcome back to the shop. I've got a whole bunch of other videos that I should be posting instead of this. Got the 500 aluminum frame quad. I've got a couple motor videos, some other things. But I bought myself a new little toy and I just couldn't resist posting it. Um, if you guys have any kind of CNC machinery, whether it's a mill, a lathe, even a router or a plasma table, uh, this is a pretty cool little tool, and if you run an Acorn or one of the uh, Centroid CNC products, this is an even better product. So, let me get to it. About a year ago, I put together this control board to convert my uh, bridge port into a 4-axis CNC machine. You can see up in the top right-hand corner... There's an Acorn, uh, CNC Centroid Acorn board um, with the relay right below it. Um, this cabinet has my power supplies, my drivers, my VFD, everything um, fairly well self-contained with a couple of fans up above. Anyway, um, so these all run uh, NEMA 34 lead shine stepper motors. They are uh, 9 newton meters. They are closed loop, so they do keep track of their positions, um, and they do a really good job. Um, I went ahead with the NEMA 34s. Um, there are a couple of recommendations to go a little bit smaller, but this is a pretty heavy um, milling machine. Uh, the knee is really heavy, and I wanted to make sure I had more than enough power to do what I wanted to do. The drawback to running these big stepper motors is... If the power is on, you're not going to move these motors. You can grab hold of the crank wheel as hard as you want, and unless you're willing to damage the ball screw or some other component within it, you're just not going to move these motors. So if there's no power to them, you can crank the table, but it's very difficult. Um, so basically, you either operate it in the CNC mode in one form or another, or you don't operate it. If I just want to cut something as simple as a slot in a part or maybe just a rectangular hole, it's actually easier just to go in here, punch in the G code, let it run the G code, and you're done. But it's still somewhat time consuming. If I just want to face off the edge of a part or something like that, it does take a bit of time to set it up. So I've been watching some YouTube videos, talked to a couple of other guys that run you know, professional machinery for a living, and I decided I wanted to go ahead and purchase a pendant. I looked around at uh, quite a few of the options out there, and I decided I didn't want to spend too much time screwing around with this thing. Um, I was willing to spend a little extra money. Um, I could have bought what appeared to be equivalent pendants for, you know, $100, $150 less than what I spent on this one. However, this is Centroid's pendant. It is completely wireless, so there's no, no cables, no cords. Um, it runs on batteries. Um, you simply uh, take the uh, battery compartment uh, door, which is on the back side. This little handle, uh, little knob happens to be inside the battery compartment. Um, that's where they store it, probably just to make it smaller and safer when they ship it. Um, but you open up the battery door on the back, pop in a couple of batteries, screw this little critter on, and uh, it powers up. So you can see right behind my monitor, up on the arm that holds up my monitor, I have my little Dell computer mounted on the back of that. And there is a wireless antenna that plugs into a USB port on the computer. There is an adhesive backing on the bottom of the antenna, but there's also a built-in magnet. So since my arm and my bracket for my computer are all steel, I just snapped it on there, plugged in the cable, and uh, rebooted the computer. It recognized it. Uh, I didn't have to download any extra software. It knew right what to do with it. So once I got the uh, antenna plugged in, all I had to do was go into the Acorn, the utility, Acorn wizard, give it a second for the wizard to come up. 
it's already set up here wireless MPG um, the software that I'm running uh, allows me to use four axis the MPG that uh, Acorn sells actually has six axis in it um, they used to have a four and a six but now they sell you the six axis controller for the same price as the four um, I only have four axis in here so I selected it just gives me a drop down um, I went ahead and selected their driver um, you can change how fast you want it to respond there's a couple little features in there but once you've done that it's as simple as write the wire wireless settings to the um, configuration and it operates that's all there is to it now whenever you make a change to acorn cnc you do have to shut down acorn cnc 12 and then reboot it you don't have to shut your computer off you just close the program reopen it and that sets it but basically you plug the antenna in you go into the utilities the wizard you select the pendant then you save it you reboot your program and you're ready to go so I'll show you how this thing works the pendant has all the features on it I think you'd probably want um, as a power on power off button obviously here's the the control stick it has X Y Z a fourth a fifth and a sixth axis labeled on there you have one times ten times and a hundred times you also have spin and feed um, which are a couple features that you can use it allows you to select from manual to automatic on your spindle speed um, you can jog with it back and forth um, you can start or stop any of your programs while they're running it um, you can hold um, you can do a couple you can program some macros in here or even do a tool check um, I haven't I haven't loaded any macros in here um, like I said I just got it a couple of days ago and I plugged it in I've been playing with it making a couple of cuts um, nice thing is your X, your Y, and your Z right here are going to read real time exactly the same as the DRO on the screen. So you can see right now I'm three ten thousandths off in X. And if we go up to the monitor, you'll see exactly the same thing. Three ten thousandths positive X, zero X or zero Y and zero Z. So whenever we change anything, we're going to get a DRO reading there, but we're also going to be able to read it directly off the pendant. From here, I can go ahead and move my spindle to manual. Move my spindle to manual. I can turn my spin up, and this will tell me, this will allow me to adjust spindle speed. And then from here, I can turn the spindle on. And by turning this up, I get more spindle speed. And by turning this down, I get less spindle speed. Let me show you that on the spindle. And when I'm done, spindle off. If I want to make my cuts manually, I bring this off a of spin. I'm going to drop this all the way down to 1x. When this is in 1x mode, um, each one of these increments on the dial will move the table one thousandths of an inch. It's really, really repeatable. Um, if it's on 10, it'll move a 10 thousandths. If it's on 100, it'll move a 100 thousandths. So if we just put it on X at 1, you can see the table's moving behind me. If we move it to 10, get a lot more movement. You can see each one of these.
is ten thousandths of an inch. Okay, we're over here on the right-hand side of the mill. Um, still have it on x-axis. At 1x, each increment will move at one thousandths of an inch. And you can do this all day long. If you move it up to 10, you're going to get one click. And of course, you can control the feed rate on how fast you want it to move that. If you uh, move it up to 100, you can see how repeatable that is. It comes back to the spot every single time. Now it's still on the x-axis. We want to move it in the y direction. We simply move this to y. We're in the, uh, let's move it back to the 1x. And let's watch the x move, or the y, sorry. And the 10 times. And you can see that real time, you're looking at the change on the DRO. So you can move anywhere you want in your reference system just by selecting the axis and turn in the dial. You can do it in one thousandth of an inch increments. The unit comes with this rubber protective cover. It goes all the way around. So if you bounce it off of anything, you lay it down, even if it's wet or oily on the table, it's going to keep it off of this. This is all sealed up. But one of the other cool features about this is it's got magnets in it. So it doesn't have to go anywhere. You can stick it there. You can stick it up on there. But when I'm done, I simply power it off. And I stick it right there on the table. And it's there when, I'm, when I want it again later on. Anyway, that's my new little gadget. Um, if you uh, are running Acorn or the Oak and you'd like to buy a pendant, I would highly recommend the uh, pendant that uh, CN, uh, Centroid CNC sells. It's literally plug and play. I mean, I plug that in, um, turn the unit on, uh, selected the axis I want. I didn't have to recalibrate anything. Uh, every It recognized everything that I had in my settings and it was ready to go. It took me less than 10 minutes to take it out of the box, put batteries in it, plug the antenna in, and have it up and running. Um, like I said earlier in the video, there were a couple other options out there, but I would have had to do some programming and, and probably mess around with it until I got it to work. Um, this thing is pretty affordable. It's truly wireless, um, so I can take it anywhere in the shop that I want. Uh, obviously, I don't want to be too far away from the machine. Um, but I can shut it down anytime I want and I can turn the spindle on, turn the spindle off, move any of my axis. So it's really changed how much more I'm going to be able to use this machine. Because up until now, the beauty of a CNC is you program it and it cuts. But the drawback is unless you program it, it's very difficult to cut anything manually. Anyway. So that's my video. I uh, went a little bit longer, but most of my videos go longer than I intend, intend them to do. Um, if you would uh, like to see more of the CNC um, content, um, let me know what you'd like to see. Uh, I'll be making some parts here pretty quick. I got some uh, heads to some uh, removable dome heads to make for some quads here pretty quick, but um, got a couple of little more upgrades to do on this machine. And then I've got some upgrades to do on my little manual.
anyway um, if you like the content please subscribe it helps me as you know um, subscribing doesn't cost you anything so hit that subscribe button and please like the video if you enjoyed it um, thanks for watching bye